When I was a boy, I used to love mucking around with electronics kits. I would make flashing red and green LEDs, crystal radios which would actually work, and volume knobs for loudspeakers. I thought it was a lot of fun. But then after graduating high school, I put my childhood dream into practice and enrolled in electronic engineering at university. For some reason, I thought it would be as much fun as my childhood days creating basic electronic circuits. Boy, was I wrong. In my first semester, I did really well. I studied all the basics of maths, physics, computer engineering, and programming. I didn't find any of it very interesting, but I was getting good grades, so I pressed on. In the following semester, there was more of a focus on electronic circuits. I thought certainly it would be more interesting than semester one. However, a lot of the study involved the theory behind electronics, not the practical side of it. There were practicals, but they mostly involved proving theoretical points. The fun that I remember from my childhood days started to disappear. I started to find electronic engineering completely and utterly boring. The more I studied it, the more despondent I grew. I had no other option but to quit. I took six months off and finally went back and studied a Bachelor of Science. It was somewhat tolerable, but I never really felt any passion towards it. Counterintuitively, I ended up using my physics degree to get a job teaching English in Japan, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. Later in life, I went back to study a Master of Computing. I remember as a kid writing basic computer programs on a piece of paper. I would go down to my friend's house and program them onto his computer. It was a lot of fun. But then after graduating as a computer programmer, I got a job working in a large insurance company as a software developer. It sounded interesting at first, but then after doing it for two years, it became incredibly boring. There was no fun involved. The job involved listening to a manager, programming the business requirements, getting told it's not right, and then doing it all again. Rinse and repeat. There was no room for creativity. Again, something that I had loved as a kid became incredibly boring as a job. And that's exactly what I've found with pretty much every job that I've ever had. Everything becomes boring at work. I didn't give up though. I thought if I ventured out by myself and started programming my own smartphone apps, then things would become more interesting. But was I wrong? Again. Apps have to be designed to appease a faceless market. If you don't change your software to suit the market, then you don't succeed. You can't really do what you like. You have to do what the market likes. I spent about three years on and off programming apps, but due to an overly saturated market, it's very hard to get noticed and usually your app sits on the App Store not being downloaded. However, the App Store loves to promote their success stories. The 14-year-old entrepreneur who came up with the next big thing and is currently making a couple of hundred thousand dollars a month in ad revenue. But of course, the big companies don't like to tell you the truth, and that is that most developers end up failing. The chances of making a decent living designing apps is very small. But people keep doing it, because against their better judgment, they are convinced that there's a chance that they will become the next app millionaire. So again, I was disappointed, but it was no surprise. In my life, I've tried lots of jobs. The only rule that I impose on myself is that I have to stick with it for at least two years. If I don't like it after two years, then I move on to something new. From my experience, there is no fun job. I sometimes hear from people that they love their job, but I just don't believe them. I think they say it in the vain attempt to keep themselves happy. I just don't see smiling faces in office cubicles, people jumping for joy working for Kmart. I think people enjoy earning money, but for example, I don't think chefs actually enjoy making the same meal over and over again, day in, day out. It must get extremely boring making chicken parmigiana for the 1000th time, no matter what your salary. So why is it that I can find a hobby extremely interesting and fun, but doing the same thing in a job I find incredibly boring? I think it comes down to freedom. When you're cooking a cake at home, you're doing it for fun. It interests you. Maybe you're making it for your daughter's birthday and you're happy seeing the large smile on her face when she takes the first bite. But when you make cakes for a living, it no longer is a free choice per se. You're doing it because either your boss has told you to do it, or a customer has paid you to. If you work for a large bakery and you have to make 50 or 100 cakes a day, then any semblance of fun certainly disappears after the first couple of hours. I've seen bakers in the back of bakeries preparing hundreds of loaves of bread early in the morning. Are they happy and smiling? Certainly not. 
I'm not saying people shouldn't work. I'm not saying that jobs should always be fun. But what have we done in our society where almost every job has become a grind? What's the point? Money? Success? When I watch my children play, I see them pretending to be pilots, police officers, doctors, nurses, architects designing new buildings using Lego, gymnasts outside practicing handstands and somersaults. But when they get to school, the teachers inevitably ask them what they want to be when they grow up. My son wants to become a police officer who flies jumbo jets, does backflips, climbs Mount Everest, and is an Olympic swimming star. He also wants to fix people's broken legs and write a storybook titled The Whale and the Quail. At least, so he told me this morning. But teachers, read society, tell him that he must choose only one. You can't do lots of different jobs. You have to choose a single profession and stick with it for the next 50 or 60 years. You have to live a boring life doing the same thing over and over again. What is the solution? Well, is there a problem? I don't know. Obviously, society needs specialists. Our whole economy is made up of specialists. The mechanic who fixes your car. The doctor who sets your broken bone. The dance instructor who teaches your daughter to dance. In today's society, it's nigh on impossible to become both a heart surgeon and a fighter pilot, because both require years of training. My son wants to do seven different things, but unfortunately, I don't think society will allow it. He will certainly be taught to focus on a single, solitary profession. There may be a time when we can do whatever we want, whenever we want to. For example, what if in the far future, we all become permanently part of a virtual reality? Our only goal in life would be to exist in the simulation. One day we're a doctor performing life-saving surgery. The next, we're an oceanographer exploring the depths of the world's oceans. Some say we're already in a simulation and we've voluntarily chosen the life we lead simply to amuse ourselves. Either way, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to find a job that interests me. Outwardly, all jobs look interesting. But as soon as I start doing them, reality sets in and the whole freaking thing comes tumbling down. What will I do? I don't know. I'll probably keep looking for new things to try out, hoping that one day something will come along that is both interesting and rewarding. Here's hoping.